Hey, in my last video I talked a little bit about abandoning ourselves and that we don't come through for ourselves sometimes and we let ourselves down sometimes. And some of us have a whole lifetime of doing that. I know that I did. And again, this is something that has a very wide implications, but I wanted to highlight something very specific and then also relate that to creating money. And one of the ways that I abandoned myself and that I think is actually quite common for human beings is that I had my yeses and my noes mixed up. And this is this could be a very deep subject, so I'm going to keep it really brief, I hope, but Basically, we say yes and let things in that are just aren't good for us. The wrong people, the wrong foods, the wrong, um, you know, we just live through things because we think we have to. We think we, think we don't have a choice. We just say yes, 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 and we just bow down and say yes. And it's nobody's fault but our own, really. I mean, we are adults, but we just have learned, you know, from our families or we just... Um, you know, we don't know what we don't know, right? We we don't know it until we learn it. And finally we wake up and think, maybe there's something else, you know. And I said yes to all the wrong things. Meanwhile, we say no. Like we say no to new experiences. We say no to true intimacy. We say no to our dreams. There's a lot of things we're saying no to. We've got our no's and our yeses mixed up. And this is also called a boundary, uh, a boundary that needs to be repaired or an unhealthy boundary or then turning it into a healthy boundary. And get your yeses and your no's in the right places. Say no to toxic things. Say no to the things that aren't serving you. Say no to people and things that are hurting you but because we're sacred. And we only have one life. And you don't want to be spending any amount of time or at least amount of time as you can. And sometimes we do have to meet some obligations and stuff, but we really should think through those things and ask ourselves how we got into those obligations and why exactly we're doing them, and then maybe make some changes as soon as we can. And like I said, that there's reasons for, for things, but it's just worth some thought. And then say yes. Say yes to your future. Say yes to... Um, Sometimes we make rules for ourselves, like you know, you can't have, you can't be happy unless you have so much money, or you can't have, you, you know, we have all these r no rules, and we should say yes, yes to ourselves, um, and give ourselves good things. And when it comes to one of, you know, becoming an entrepreneur and changing that mindset from being an um, employment mentality to an entrepreneurial mentality. That's a huge yes we have to find because we may have some no, a no there. And we call that a risk to say yes to the entrepreneurial lifestyle. But I don't think it's a risk. It isn't, I mean, in my opinion, it's not a risk because it is my life. It's my one life. And um, I don't really like all the paradigms and the stories and the structures that our world has come up with and our society has come up with. They're dumb. Some of them are very dumb and some of them are dangerous. And so I like to just lay everything down, break everything down, just like I've got a white sheet of paper, a blank sheet of paper, and what do I want to write on it? And if I'm not strong enough or smart enough yet to do it, then I, I am willing to go on that quest and so, you know, you can call it business if you want. You can call it money if you want. You can call it um, being an entrepreneur if you want. And those are all good money, you know, making a living or getting rich. You can call it all those things if you want. But for me, it's my life. This is my life. And I don't want to be at a job away from my kids. I don't want to be, you know, my creativity, having no expression, um, not having the freedom. I would like the freedom. We're, we're meant to be free. We're meant to, like, we've got this whole planet. We should be running around this planet having tons of fun, but instead we've got huge plane tickets we've got to pay for, and we've got to get time off from work. We've got to, it's like we've made up all these rules as a society, and it's 
kind of ridiculous actually to make up all those rules, but it's hard to get out of them because everybody's doing them. We're all in agreement and, you know, we we feel like we have to keep doing those things to not let other people down. But um so I guess again that that could go for a lot of things. But maybe check your yeses and your noes and make sure you have them in the right places and that you don't have them mixed up. And I know I had to do that for myself. That was one of my problems and I still have to check and make sure that I'm putting those in the right places um, so that I can support myself okay, and be there for myself. So there's today's idea.